So this is to go over an option that might be of interest to you when you have your students seeing articles on the internet that have a lot of um, clutter on the screen. So installed for teachers and students is a reader view that can be used in Chrome. So here I am on an article on tech and learning and most of you are going to have all of your extensions listed across the top. I have quite a few so not all of mine fit. So I'm going to go to this tiny little puzzle piece. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to scroll down to find reader view in my list. Um, yours is force installed so it should be up here at the top for full access but you might have to scroll down to find it. So you click reader view and what it's going to do is change the view from which you're seeing this article. And then you can kind of play around with it. Sometimes the depending on how the images are put on the site, sometimes they will show through, sometimes they won't. If you don't want them to show and they have shown up, you can go over here to the little image button and you can click on hide and it will hide those images. Or you can click show or you can change the size of them to your liking. I'm going to go up here to the top to where the text tool is and this is where I can change the format of my font. I can also change the size of it if I need it to be enlarged. If I want it to go the full width of the screen or if I want it to be narrower I can play with that. I can also change the background. Right now it's set to sepia but I could put it to light or I could change it to some of the darker backgrounds for more of a night view just whatever the preference is of the reader. Also, you can print, email, and save these um, creations that you're working on or make them full screen. And then this little editing button here, when you click on it, will pop up a tool up in your top right hand corner, which I think is pretty interesting. So you can highlight text within the reader view and you can change it to different formatting sizes. Um, whether it's different types of headings or paragraph, you can bold it or unbold it, italicize it, you can link it to something if you have a URL you want it to go to, you can um, create bullets, numbered lists, change the indent, you can also insert images. So if I wanted to put an image in here, maybe I'm looking for something to better describe this article and I want to use an image that I already have, I could go up and insert it. I also can literally come in here and change the text. I can type in whatever it is, whether I need to find more facts, or I need to put in my opinion, or I need to annotate like something that the author did. I'm sure that all of you could come up with really cool ways in which that can be used. And then um, you can close that out as well. But you can see that the format is a lot simpler. It's not as cluttered as it was before. And if you need to just close it out and go back to the original, you can click on the X here and you're back to where you started. So I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach out. But I think the best way to get to know it is to play with it.